That if you have music and you have an orchestra or you're playing from the CD, something that is not changing. You have a tempo, you have, let's say in samba, you have 50 bars per minute that usually stays. So we keep the tempo of the music. So to start to understand body rhythm, body rhythm is something that, of course, in my opinion, is a reactive thing. Yeah? When we go in to explain and talk about rhythm, we have to find the differentiation between rhythm and timing. What is the difference? I will not now tell you the, let's say, literature explanation what you probably find on Google, because I have to be honest, many years I didn't understand that as well. It's quite fairly to say that a dancer that is young not always understands everything and it takes time to, let's say, find your definition and your understanding of the meaning of those words. What I realized for myself <clears throat> is that timing is literally an order. We are ordering when we do what. It's like a checklist. We do a step on one, we do the next step on a. Or we do a step on one, on the next half beat of that one we stretch the leg, and then we do the step on a. So we give a clear order when things happen. But we need that to clarify things between the couple, when we do what. But when we go into rhythm, it, we include something that is very important, and that's dynamic. It tells us, actually, how fast, links, how fast these things are linked together. So it gives a clear understanding that if I count one, a, ah, two, it's a clear understanding that on one I do a step, on a ah, I do the next step, on a full beat two I do the third step. But it doesn't give us how fast these things are related. So when we include dynamic, we give these numbers suddenly a relation. So we're counting not one a two, but we give more dynamic one a two. Tum chika, tum chika. So thematically, we get more understanding that this is one a two. It includes how fast that is to that. That is to that. So now we get more differentiation in dynamics. But there is something much more important that opens up. It opens up the door that is giving us something in between. And this is something that I miss nowadays a lot. <clears throat> Something in between. So there is a time between one and the other beat. We can define, I need to drink something because after this hype, we need to define what is that? What is in between? What is in between one, two? One, two. So, for me to keep it simple, one is defining where I hit the beat, and then it's the rest of that time of that beat, the resonance of that sound of that beat. So if we would do it, we'd do tum, tum, tick, boom. So it gives us a certain length. Again, slow music, more sound and more length in that sound, short music, fast music, they have less time in between. So, this is what I need to control to time my tempo. My tempo that I dance from one beat to the other. I want to feel music everywhere in my body. That's why I train so hard my technique, because I want to feel everywhere this music no gap. If I stop, I stop singing with my body. So that's why technique is so important. But technique, what means technique? 
It's the mechanic what happens to succeed to do the technique. So learning how to move from foot to foot, how to coordinate through the leg, how to drive that weight through your body and create through that body a sound in your spine to link to the next beat. That is for me why I do technique so much. I take, take so much time. So, why nowadays dancers don't manage? Because you're busy. You're busy. Priorities number one and you're busy. You're busy to do all the stuff that you need to do in your choreography, which is good. Very good. But you need to use that as a foundation to talk with the music. You know, who knows his choreography? Who practices his choreography many, many times and know timing, direction, dynamic, intention? I mean, who knows it? You know your choreography? Yes? So you don't need to think about it. Franco, Lo so. So the thing is, when you think, about what to do, you stop listening. Because we cannot use our senses in the same time, all of them, in the same intensity. So primarily what I do is I listen and I react. I listen and I react with my knowing of my choreography. I don't need to think how to do a whisk action or a crusado walk. I practiced it many times. So I listen to the music and I get the sound and then I try to fulfill with my choreography the sound that is playing. But this is the priority that I choose. Do you understand? So you need to create a balance between what you have to do and you have to learn in your choreography and then how you put it into a context to relation to music. Because I think many of you are much better than what they do. But you think too much about stuff. Yeah? So, I want you, in the last two, three minutes, I know we have all a group, I actually prepared a piece of choreography, but I knew that I have no time. <laughs> but, and I'm not going to teach you in the last three minutes. Yeah? So, in the last two minutes, I want you to take a little piece of what you have, not together, alone, and just try to fulfill it, complete it, get yourself inspired and find music inside your choreography.